Hello, today's lesson is on percents, all right? So the only thing you really need to know about percents is the keywords. Um, of means multiply and is means equals, all right? So just remember those two things. Of means multiply and is means equals, all right? Then we can take the word problems that they give us, convert it to an equation. All right, so first one. What is... 40% of 28. So what is going to be our variable or our letter? All right, so we can call it X or N, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it X. Is means, multiple, uh, means equals, so X equals 40%. And to make 40% a decimal, we move the decimal over two places, one, two. So that is 0 0.40. So 0 0.40. You could just use 0.4, that's okay too. Of means times 28. All right? Now, do this without a calculator. We have 28 times 0 0.40 can be written as 0.4. And just multiply it out. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. And we're moving the decimal over one place, right? So move the decimal over one place. So our answer is 11.2. So x is 11.2. OK, next one. Bit different. Sometimes they're going to change up the sentence on you. Right? Three percent of what number is twelve? All right. So there's our question. Now we have to convert that to an equation. So first thing we do, we need to convert this to a decimal, so we have to move it over two places, one, two. So this is going to be 0 0.03. That's our decimal. So 3% as a decimal would be 0 0.03. Of means times, multiply. What number? All right, so our number is x or n, whatever you want to use. I'll use x. Could make this a dot to make it look a little bit better. So 0 0.03 times x is means equals 12. All right. Next, to solve this equation, since we're, since we're solving for x, and we're multiplying by 0 0.03, what we have to do is divide by 0 0.03. And if you do it on one side, you've got to do it to both sides. Divide by 0 0.03. All right, so we have x equals 12 divided by 0 0.03. Without a calculator, we can do this by moving the decimal place two places, so we just have regular numbers. So we would move this over two places, so we were just dividing by three, this over two places. So that's going to give us 1,200 divided by regular three. So x equals... 1,200 divided by 3, and that happens to be 400, all right? So x is 400. So if we read it with the answer in there, we have 3%, three, uh, 3 all right, let's get rid of this. 3% of 400 is 12, all right? Next one. Number three, four is what percent of 50? So four is what percent of 50? 
All right, so they can ask for a bunch of different things when they're doing these problems. They could ask for the percent, they could ask for the old number, the new number. All right, so four is, that means four equals, right? What, just give it a letter, we're going to call it X, percent of 50. All right, so this is a percentage this time. It's not just a regular number. It's going to be our percent. Four is what percent of means times 50. Okay, so x times 50, we have to get rid of the 50, so we divide by 50 on both sides. We can reduce that, so x equals 4 divided by 50, because those will cancel. We can reduce that by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2, 2 over 25. And that happens to be 0 0.08. Okay? Next one. I'm mainly just showing you how to set up the problems if you have to do them. Alright, so the last one I have for today. Number 4, 30% of 45 is what? So 30% as a decimal would be 0 0.30, right? Or just 0.3, but I'll use 0 0.30 for now. Of means times 45 is means equals, and then what is any letter you want it to be. It could be N, or X, or A, whatever. So we have 0 0.30 times 45. Remember, this can just be 0 0.3. We don't need that 0. So we're going to multiply. 45 times 0 0.3. 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. And we move this decimal over one place. All right, so x is 13.5. All right. Next video is going to be on proportions, MCR proportions.